I need to say. Can, yeah. I, can I just ask your guys' name, please? My name's Sandy Constable Miller. Sandy Constable Miller? Yeah. Rachel? Yeah. Oh, hey, like I said. Just a good guess. Hello. Um, and what about the other guy? His name's Kane. Kane? Where is he? I think he's just... Oh, hang on. I've got to just get this snow caller ID. Wait on. Okay. Hello, Richard speaking. Richard's Cade. Cade, the police are here. I've got to go. See ya. Um, now, I have tried my best. Uh, can I get your name too, please? Yeah, Kane. Kane. Abby. Kane, Abby. Yeah. Right. Now, I just want to pre um, preempt this with something. At the moment, I have no food. I have no medication and I've suffered a brain injury from a suicide in a hospital. The suicide was deemed fatal and a lethal attempt. I was accidentally found and revived. When was this? A year ago, over a year ago. Since that time, I have been, now I know this is right above your heads, it's above your pay scale, but I'm trying my best to report this. I'm the subject of a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice and you guys are tied into it. Okay. I will report to you today information I know about a murder, information I know about drug trafficking, about rape, about money laundering, tax evasion and corruption. Okay? You guys, as public officials, are bound by the law to act within the human rights law. Mm -hmm. That's correct, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, there is also the Charter of Human Rights for People with a Disability that was signed and ratified by the government in 2008, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, as public officials, you must abide by that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now... Um, where do I start? Um, this is a letter I wrote to um, MP Birmingham. I'll just try and find it. I, I've tried my best to, to get to um, the, the crux of this, but I've been cut off every single way, and I, I am doomed. They will kill me. That, that's what they were trying to do when they killed me the first time. Now, um... I just got to find preview. Wait, where is it? I'll I'll, I'll get this letter because it explains succinctly what's going on. Um, I think it's a PDF. Hang on. Um, I've got all these acts open because I'm I'm researching legislation to try and stand up for myself. You see. Mm. Um, so I've sent this to the um to the uh, so. I'm seeking compensation from the government. Now, very briefly, I can't go to police to report this, anything. Mm. I can't be a whistleblower. I can't um, get a lawyer, and I am inequitably um, scapegoated and ostracised and neglected from society. Okay. It's a disaster. I have not a cent. I am owed millions of dollars through detriment caused by this conspiracy to prevent the cause of justice. I'll just explain here. Wait, I, I think I had pasted it in, a, in an email. Wait on. I'll just, um, I know, I pasted it in. Well, if you can just bear with me. I, I do have a bit of a brain fart memory now, and I um, struggle to keep my thoughts because of, I've lost all my blood, and um, that's affected my hippocampus. Now, I can't sue the hospital because the government condones that death as nothing to see. Mm. And I, I'm a victim here. I was framed because... Um, this is Crystal. I was framed because I made a legitimate complaint against the GP. Mm -hmm. His lawyer framed me internally and the following organisations covered that up. APRA, NHPOPC, you guys, the police, IBAC, um, the Ombudsman and um, the Victorian Inspectorate mm -hmm. and Minister Greg Hunt. They silenced the evidence. So I I've just written this. I I've, I've begged the police for help. Um, 
this, this is basically what I'm owed. A, a few weeks ago, Afka watched me burn as I have been b- both before hospital and after hospital. What's AFCA? AFCA is the Australian Financial Complaints Authority. They have legislation that they, if someone's marginalised, they must come to a determination in four weeks. That's law. Mm-hmm. They watched me burn. Now, I've called out the two people that um, have overseen that, but it's above them. I don't know where it's coming from. Now, I lost $2 million, $2 million plus dollars from overdue determinations only three weeks ago. Mm. And they act with impunity, and they know that because I can't go to police, I can't go to an ombudsman, I can't get whistleblower protection, and I have zero rights in this country. I'm rendered a neutral refugee. They are hoping that I will die by suicide before I get justice. And they're doing so by attacking me via the hip pocket. In in um in money. Do you understand so far? Yeah, I'm just I'm not sure what we can do for you right now. Well, why have you come here? Uh, were you? The AFP sent us to do a welfare check on you. You know what? I wouldn't need welfare if I had justice. Okay. And the police oversee the law. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now laws that have been broken. Okay, maybe you can't do anything now, but I'm recording this. I'm and, recording this. Uh, good, good. Yeah. And we all have to acknowledge that I am without food, mm-hmm. without medication, and I'm squatting here. You're squatting here. Right? So I haven't got my basic needs met, I haven't got human dignity. Have you contacted, do you have like a social worker or like a. a no, I do not. Clinician? Who's Nicole with us? Do you know her? I don't know, who's that? Um, it was just in the job that was given to us, some um, Werribee Mercy Mental Health or something. You know what, Werribee Mercy Mental Health are the exact hospital that I killed myself in. In the whole year since they kicked me out of that hospital after I survived with a brain injury, mm. they've given me absolutely nothing but send the police to further oppress me. Mm. They have given me a $50 Coles voucher and that is it. They have not advocated for my health, my medication, doctors, Do rent, anything. Yeah. You need to arrest them. Okay. Dr. Dean Steverson, the CEO of the hospital, was so pleased that the ombudsman and the government condoned my death, which I can show the evidence of right now, mm. of that it was nothing to see, that he with impunity told me to sue him directly. What do you think's good about that? Um, There's no justice for me. You're, you're, you're sent by Werribee Mercy Hospital, and that's because I cracked my shits at the mum, at my mum. Okay. So she's probably called them, and they've called you, and now you're here. You know what? My parents live in a million dollar house. Mm. I begged them for money yesterday, only because they're the, it's the only place left I can go. And you know what? They gave me $40. Mm. I have lived on. $700 a week for an entire year and my rent eclipses that. I have nothing. Mm. How do you think that's fair and equitable in this society? What can we do for you today? You can listen to these reports of injustice mm-hmm. and you can investigate it. Okay. Do you want us to contact Werribee Mercy Mental Health on your behalf? Why? I'm not mentally ill. Okay. What, what do you need to show us before we've got to go? It sounds like you're just, just fobbing off an entire conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, which requires an investigator. I can have a look, yeah. It's not a problem. But I'm just, it's not really in the police's scope. Well, the law is within the police's scope, you know? And you know what? I'm sick of being persecuted by the police you come here listen to me beg you for help and i tell you that i'm absolutely framed clusterfuck they're waiting for me to die and that's what they're doing they will wait for me to die and attack me in the hip pocket their plan is to incarcerate me because i've been reverse framed i've been tagged in pedophile posts 
I've been called a rapist and um, a dog fucker. Everything you can imagine. They're going to try and pin crimes on me. And Werribee Mercy is involved in this system to incarcerate me as an award of the state. I have that on my website, which you can see here, which is in the public domain, mind you, um, called killhim.info. There you go. Just have a look at this. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. There's nothing more I can do. This is called systemic gaslighting. Delay, defer and deny is no longer an option, right? I haven't got time to defer you to the um, worthy mercy. Okay. I'm not sick. I'm persecuted. What are you doing with that knife, though? I use it to get the drugs and put it in the pot. Okay. And I deal heroin. Okay. Kilos of it to yeah. support myself. What are you going to do about that? Um, I'm more concerned for you than you are uh -oh. heroin dealing at the moment. You know what? That's because you're a part of the system and you refuse to acknowledge that um, I deserve equal access to the law in terms of the Human Rights Charter and you refuse to act on it as a public official which is ingrained in your position. Okay. Now, I don't want you to pathologise me. You've already, you've, you've already explained that you won't help me and you're willing to take me to worry mercy. I've got a message for you. Suck my cock. Can you please leave? Alright, okay. Thanks. Wait, wait, don't let the dog out. You know what, I've tried to report crime to you people and you're absolutely 100% um, a part of 